Yes. Well, Amy, the roots of this is actually goes back to, you know, the recent history of um, health care for birth um, for indigenous women in um, North America and in this country in particular, um, where, for instance, um, Indian Health Services had a, a policy of forcibly sterilizing indigenous women. From 1973 to 1976, more than 3,000 women were forcibly sterilized, even women under the age of 21. Um, and so that decreased in the, between the 1970s and 1980s, that decreased the birth rate for native population in the United States of America from 3.8 percent to 1.8 percent. So that is genocide, and that cannot continue to happen. That is genocide of indigenous women, and just the same way that this pipeline is the genocide of our Mother Earth, and it's the genocide of the river and the water that feeds us all, that nourishes us all, just as it did in the womb. So. Um, that is why we're doing this um, here, to support the women, to come back from that colonization. You know, right now, Native women, um, this space in particular um, creates um, the, the, the potential, the possibility that um, women, that we can decolonize, um, not just through birth, um, but really come back to a place of matriarchy and um, respecting women in a way that we can also respect Mother Earth and not lay pipelines in her, not dig out her liver, her coal, just as they're doing in Black Mesa, Big Mountain, Sovereign Diné Nation, just as they're doing all across the world and across the globe. And right